Hey there, parents. I have been so excited for Central Kid 2016. I decided to get all uh, decked out in my Team Orange uh, gear as we get ready for Central Kid and OMC coming up in just a few days. Just had a few final announcements that I thought I'd do it this way th through video. So check it out uh, in email if you'd rather read it, but here it is in the live version. A lunch on Tuesday, I need orders. We're gonna provide lunch, this is no additional cost to you, but I need to know, uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Um, I really can't accommodate custom orders unless it's medically necessary, so uh, just shoot me back an email that says, your child's name and sandwich, or your child's name and nuggets, and I will make sure that your child has those. We're gonna have chips and drinks and all that stuff as well, but um, uh, giving you a chance to get some custom uh, order here, depending on whether your ch child likes the sandwich or the nuggets. That's for Tuesday. Uh, speaking of Tuesday, uh, make sure you arrive by 10:15. We'll have a few brief announcements and a prayer, and then we'll load up on the bus and try to be on the road no later than 11 o'clock. So be sure at 10:15 you're here so we can get the bus uh, and all the luggage loaded up. What to bring? Don't forget to be checking and double checking your what to bring list. That's it's very important. Uh, we want to make sure your child has everything they need um, for uh, for camp. Uh, that list is attached in the email. Uh, don't forget things like bed linens and a bath towel and a pool towel. Um, have those separate things so they'll have it. Closed toed shoes, that's a must. Don't forget closed toed shoes. You gotta have some tennis shoes for our daily uh, Bible study and rec activities. Uh, some things just can't be done in flip flops and sandals. So the kids, so Central Kid says closed toed shoes for that. Uh, might need an extra set of clothes just in case. Never know. Uh, but you will need at least one dirty set because your kids are gonna get dirty during OMC. Uh, so that's just gonna happen. Make sure you have that. Don't forget a dirty laundry bag that they can keep by their bed uh, in the cabin. And remember to label, label, label. Uh, well, only one label is necessary. On each item, it can be just a last name, but make sure to label everything, including those linens and those towels so that we make sure all of that stuff gets back to you uh, and with the person that it came with. And finally, remember to leave all electronics at home. Uh, I did mention in our meeting that if your child wants to bring electronics, We'll take them up on the bus and we'll give them back on the way home in case uh, they need to text you or something like that. Uh, we will resume that, but we will collect those. So if you send them, uh, we're going to hang on to them throughout the week. Uh, snacks and cash. Uh, if you're going to send snacks to the kids, be sure to avoid things that are uh, meltable, uh, melting uh, like chocolate. Uh, it, we don't want to melt on the way up there, and it, even though we have air conditioning in our cabins, it's very good possibility that it's going to melt. So. Um, Let's just avoid uh, meltable snacks. Uh, no need to send water either with your child. If you want to send drinks or something, that's up to you. But water will have plenty of water to keep your child hydrated all week, all week long. If you're sending cash, don't forget that we recommend that you put them in separate baggies for each day. Um, you can label them. You can give them to us. We can help you out manage that. But uh, if you're sending cash, we recommend that you do it. That way your ch child doesn't end up on day two and spend all of their money. Um, and important, don't forget that we will also, uh, your child will also need a little bit of cash stashed away for Saturday on our return trip home. We'll stop in Meridian at Chick-fil-A. And so we wanna make sure that uh, your child has enough food, enough money to buy their food on that day. So uh, we can also help out with that. Name on a baggie um, and put the, give that baggie to one of the adult leaders on um, Tuesday when we leave. And we'll hang on to that and then we'll give it back out on Saturday. Uh, if you want to connect with us during camp, you're free to do that. You can text me or any of our adult leaders if you're close with one of them. Um, but you can also follow me on social media. Usually it's at germpc, J-E-R-M-P-C. And uh, that will get you on most social media accounts. I'll be posting throughout the weeks whenever I have a chance uh, as well. Some of our other leaders will do that as well, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, my social media accounts are a good place to start if you don't have one already. Camp mail. If you're sending camp mail, which I encourage that you do, make sure those things are in the mail no later than Wednesday. That way we don't miss them and they go to camp while we're coming home. So uh, all mail needs to be sent by Wednesday. And finally, don't forget to pray. pray. Pray, pray, pray for those children, your child individually. In fact, I would recommend maybe even take a, a couple of sticky notes and put them on the bedroom door or on the chair where they sit at the dining room table or in the chair in your car. And, and every time you see that sticky note or every time you see that empty chair, that, that will be a reminder for you to pray for your child that God will do some amazing things uh, in the life of your child this week during camp. Well, that's it for now. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are well informed about all that's going on. Thanks for watching. 
We'll see you guys this weekend. Bye.